So what exactly is a wavetable? In Serum, I've loaded the basic shapes wavetable and I can modulate the wavetable position dial to switch between the different shapes. I can also look at it in the 3D view to see the different shapes. So this is a wavetable which has these seven different shapes and Serum lets you use any of them as your chosen waveform. Now we can actually look up these wavetables. In the menu option, let's open the Serum presets folder so we can access the presets but we can even access the tables. Inside our familiar folders, these tables are actually regular audio files. Here's basic shapes. Let's see what's inside this audio file. I'll drag it into an audio track in my DAW. Zoom in a bit. So you can see it has all the seven shapes we looked at in Serum. Now obviously if I play this here, it won't be all that useful as it's a tiny audio file. But what a wavetable synth will do is play one cycle repetitively. So in Serum, when we select the first shape, it actually just loops this first section of the audio file. When we select Sawtooth, it loops this section. Quite simple and straightforward. In the early days of digital synths, this was a great way to save on storage space as you only needed to store one cycle of a wave shape. Let's try another one. How about a more complex wavetable? Let's try this MB Saw. Serum lets you have up to 256 frames or snapshots and this wavetable seems to be using all of it. Let's try the other view. Okay, starts off as a simple sawtooth, then gets complex. Let's find the table. MB saw. Drag it in. As you can see here, we have a longer audio file and you can see the shape gradually gets more complex. So that's what's involved in wavetable synthesis. But it's kind of boring to leave the sound static on one frame. It gets more exciting when the wavetable position is gradually morphed. This can be done with an LFO, for example. So now when I play, it sounds like there's a bit more movement in the sound as the waveform is constantly changing. Alright, in the next tutorial, we will see how to work with the wavetable editor.